Hello there, this is Cookies. I have turn 57 of EA Machaka, and we can see no battles this turn, but we did get a bunch of gold, some wing shoes, and some death gems. Did cast a few spells. We also cast Transformation. So, you can see this guy turned into a wolf. Now, a wolf being a low HP chassis that can get Seeking narrowed is not great. But it's still a stealthy six path mage with holy two. So we can definitely do some interesting stuff with that in the raiding game potentially with stealthy troops and Buddha and stuff like that. So there is some potential here. All right. And then. We did get Blue Waters relinquished to us, and then immediately lost a ton of gold and got some unrest there, so that's going to crimp our style this turn in terms of recruiting. But we are going to get a Spider Clan Sork, and we're going to get some Spider Clan Witch Doctors to hold Dreamstones, and we're going to go ahead and get a Lizard Shaman because he's cheaper. Alright, so this turn we can see... We are putting together one of the Revenants. Currently, I forgot this guy casting Revenant. Uh, so maybe that's a mistake. Could potentially see next turn if we've got two of them. Um, but we are going to go ahead and build a temple, do a palisade. Um, maybe I was trying to hit a certain research goal. Conjuration 5 and Construction 6. No, we're not going to hit that. So, I'm not sure. Uh, we are doing some blood hunting, though. We are going to go ahead and conduct this raid on Phrygia. And in terms of spells, we're doing a little bit more site searching. It's starting to calm down, though. We are forging some Earth Boots, a Skull Mentor, a Claim of Pearls. And we're getting some more Skull Mentors here, and a Black Steel Helmet, and casting her respects. So we do have some cool stuff going on. Um, oh, uh, speaking of the Lilots, we can see, uh, I think this is either Bogus or the... Yeah, Bo Bogus is here, so we did manage to charm Bogus. And... It looks like we did end up in a battle with the Dark Knight. Now, when we did all that testing with the Troll Kings, it, it seemed like uh, Seducer with the Beauty Pennant never got attacked. Maybe it was bugged in some way, but then they changed it. So then we just had two Lilots, so we decided to go ahead and roll it anyways after that patch, and almost immediately this Lilot got killed. So, whatever it was, uh, maybe it was goofy but all right but at least we did get an, uh, was it an a troll king we did get bogus and i think we got someone else out of that as well so um let's see yeah doing a little bit more site searching and i think that's a lot of what's going on for this turn fairly calm um, we did not get, we haven't yet to get, like, we got this 10% random, and we got this double 10% random, but I think we've, yeah, we might get one or two more Amber Mages, but I'm not sure if we're going to keep getting them. They are not, they're not sacred, so they're pretty expensive. I don't have a way to twice born them if I decide I want to convert them. I can't transformation them necessarily either. I don't want to with this guy. He's too rare. So probably will slow down on the Amber recruitment. In terms of this Merc, uh, he's still pretty cheap. He's like five gold for three turns. So an extremely cheap mage. Might as well just keep hiring him. And I think that's everything. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you in turn 58. Um, oh, I guess in terms of research goals. So, we did cast Eternal Pyre, so we got the fire income now. 
So now that we can control fire globals, um, Paul Scott is working on researching Second Sun, and that's because Second Sun perfectly counters Ill Winter somehow. So Second Sun will increase the heat scales by one every turn. Ill Winter makes them colder by one every four turns. But for some reason, if they're both up, unless it's been patched again, uh, it completely cancels out, and you end up with neutral scales, which is actually a pretty nice counter to Illwinter. It still lets the Illwinter player get what they want, so they'll s stop like spamming it. Uh, you don't have to waste stuff on a Dispel, and you can... Um, retain your income so it's a nice little little uh, counterbalancing move for a winner it makes it a little less toxic and i like that sort of counterplay i like that the globals even have a little bit of counterplay so yeah i think that's it for this one so i'll go ahead and see you in turn 58 have a good one